Chairman and Dr. Sullivan, thank you for being with us today. Uh, my first question goes to Rico, and it is this. Have you or anyone you know been a part of any discussions about using the RICO statutes against anyone who might question some aspects of climate change? Uh, I have been part of no such conversations, Mr. Chairman. Okay. The Attorney General testified before the Senate last week that she had, in fact, been part of such discussions and had referred it to the FBI, but she did not consult with you, nor has I, anyone else at this point. I, I have been part of no such conversations. Okay. Uh, it's reassuring to hear because I happen to believe that you shouldn't be prosecuted for disagreeing uh, about climate change. Uh, my next question is this. Uh, you're familiar with NOAA's study, uh, sometimes called the CARL study, uh, that found that, uh, or allegedly found, that there had been an increase in global warming over the last 18 years. That study was refuted by some well-respected scientists in an article that appeared in the uh, publication Nature. Um, I assume you've read the Nature article? I'm familiar with that paper. Oh, okay. Uh, do you still stand by the Carl study's conclusions, or do you now recognize that those conclusions might have been weak and agree with the Nature scientist? Uh, I welcome the debate in the scientific literature that the full publication of the data and information in the Carl paper has enabled. That is precisely right. what the scientific process right, but both can't is designed be, to do. Both can't be correct. Do you feel that the NOAA study is still correct, or do you think the Nature article is correct? If I recall correctly from the Nature paper, the authors of that study themselves say that the Carl study is a valuable scientific contribution. That, that wasn't my question. My question goes to the 18-year halt in global warming. Uh, the NOAA study said that there had been an increase in warming during that period. The Nature article said there had not been. With which do you agree? If I recall the original IPCC report from years ago that, that first used the word hiatus, that study also said that that did not contradict the fact that the linear trend of temperature continued. Again, to I'm not talking about the linear trend. I'm talking about the 18 years. Do you agree that there was global warming or do you not agree that there was global warming? Mr. Chairman, I don't study the kinks and bumps in temperature curves at that level of detail. Uh, the 18 years, a is a 18 years is important because a lot of studies said that there was no increase in global warming. You were one of the few that said there was. Again, I'll ask you the same question. Do you agree with the NOAA Carl study or do you agree with the nature scientist? I stand by the quality and integrity of the scientific analysis that was published for all to challenge, confirm, or verify in the Carl study. And I would be interested to follow the scientific debate as it goes forward. Okay, so you still say that the Carl study was accurate and you disagree with the nature I scientists. I stand by the integrity and quality of the Carl study. Okay, I wouldn't ask you about the integrity and quality. I assume that by that, though, you meant their conclusions as well? I believe they did a valid job of analyzing new data sets. Okay. They proffered a That's analysis. All, that, then that does answer my question. If you consider their conclusions to be valid, you agree with them, you disagree with the nature scientists. If you want to be in the minority, that's fine. I just wanted to see uh, what you felt on the record. Uh, my next question is this. Uh, to my knowledge, NOAA has not fully complied with our subpoena dated February 22nd. We did get some production two days ago, but it was not the full comprehensive production that we requested. Do you intend to comply with our subpoena? Uh, Mr. Chairman, my staff continues to work on the details of these matters with your staff on an almost daily basis, right. and I assure you we will continue to move forward on a, the path that they have agreed to make sure that we satisfy your needs. And so you do intend to comply in a timely manner? We fully respect the committee's oversight responsibilities and have been working diligently since your very first letter to do precisely okay. that. And so is it fair for me to say that you do intend to comply with the subpoena? We intend to continue working with your team to fulfill the, the request that you've expressed. Okay, thank you for that. And yield back, Mr. Chairman.